Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. I have another quick fix for an error that some of you have been receiving with the Photon plugin. Now the error that we'll be talking about in this video really isn't that big of a deal. In the past I've kind of just dealt with it and it hasn't caused me any problems. It hasn't been game breaking or anything like that. However, it is still an error and it's annoying and so we should fix it. On top of that, if you've been following along with our tutorials, most likely you've received this error at least once. And so let me demonstrate what this error is and how we're receiving it. So if I click play in our Photon project, and then I create a new room by typing in a room name and a room size, and then click create room. And then if I click start game, and now if I click disconnect. And so if I go over to our console window, you can see that we're receiving this error that says photon view ID duplicate found to new view uh, it has a bunch of stuff we don't really need to read all of this but then it says maybe one wasn't destroyed on scene load check for don't destroy on load and then it says destroying old entry adding new now the reason why this error hasn't really been a problem in the past is because of this last part here it says that it's going to destroy the old entry for us and add the new one and so it's kind of fixing the problem by itself. However, we still might want to fix this error, and so that's what I'm going to teach you in this lesson. Now the reason why we're receiving this error is because of our Photon Room Controller. Now this is the only object that we have that has a Photon view and is also set to Don't Destroy on Load. And so what's happening is when we load from our main menu scene over to our multiplayer scene, there's no error because we still only have one Photon room controller. But when we load from our multiplayer scene back into our main menu scene, there's going to be the room controller that wasn't destroyed previously and a new room controller. And the reason why it's throwing an error is because both of those objects will have the same photon view view ID. But let's go ahead and open up our photon room controller script. Now our Photon Room Controller is supposed to be destroying the old Room Controller when it finds a new Room Controller. That's what this part of our singleton is doing. But I believe what's happening is it's throwing that error before this script has the opportunity to destroy the old Room Controller. Now if this error message is doing what it says it's doing, then it should be doing the same thing for us. It should be destroying the old room controller, which is the room controller that we've had from scene to scene, and it's supposed to be keeping the new room controller. And that's why it's not really a big deal and why it's not breaking our game. But if you really want to destroy this object before we load back into the main menu scene so that we don't receive this error, then we need to find wherever in our script we are loading from our multiplayer scene into our main menu scene. And that is found within our multiplayer scene. And so I'm going to load into our multiplayer scene. I'm then going to find our disconnect button, which is right here. And if I scroll down to the on click, you'll notice that we have our game setup script attached to it. Now, if I open up this script, you can see that we have our disconnect player function. And so what we can do is inside this function, we can destroy the game object of our room controller singleton. And so I'm going to type the destroy function and then for a parameter, we need to pass in the photon room singleton. And so if I go to our photon room script, you can see right here we have our singleton, which is called room. So let's go back to our game setup script. And inside this destroy function, we're going to pass our photon room custom match dot room. And then we need dot game object. This will make sure that we destroy our photon room game object before we load into the main menu scene, which is okay because we were going to destroy it anyway once we load it into the main menu scene. And so let's now save this script and go back to Unity. I'm going to clear the console. I'm also going to load into our main menu scene, and then I'm going to click play. And now I'm going to run through everything that we did before and see if I get the same error. So I'm going to give our room a name, and then I'm going to give it a room size. I'm going to click Create, and then I'm going to click Start Game. Now we're in the multiplayer scene, and now I'm going to click Disconnect. And now when I go to our console window, you can see that we're not receiving any 
error messages, just debug statements. And so there we go, we were able to fix this error. I know a number of you have been asking me about this problem. Now, it's not a big deal if you decide not to fix it, but if you want to fix it, that's how you do it. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also, feel free to join our Discord server, which is linked to in the description below. And finally, subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.